So we can uh, look at the changes in pixel intensity over the respiratory and cardiac cycles. Over respiration, the lungs expand, decreasing x-ray attenuation in a region-by-region -region basis. And with uh, the cardiac signal, the blood volume changes at, through the heartbeat. It's been reported due to, from MR studies that about 50% of the stroke volume is the blood volume change within the lungs over that cardiac cycle. So with dynamic x-ray, we can have an algorithm where we're looking at, for in this case, changes in the blood volume within the lungs. And we do this by segmenting out the lung areas, finding an ROI region over the cardiac uh, border where we can use this to assess the cardiac heart rate. We select a reference frame at end diastole. And then from that, we use a bandpass filter from our estimate of the cardiac rate to look at the signal changes associated with the heartbeat. And within each ROI, within the lung region, we can figure out how much the x-ray attenuation changes from image to image as we move away from end diastole. And we can replace, uh, we can generate a color map and use this to map that signal of x-ray intensity changes over the heartbeat. So what we're essentially seeing is a color representation of the change in blood volume with any, within any small region in the uh, lungs. In an analogous way, we can do the same thing over the respiratory cycle and essentially create a map of how much the lung volume is changing region by region. What can we do with this information? Here we have a case from St. Mariana University Hospital. This was an ICU patient who was imaged with DDR on the mobile unit at the bedside. After about seven days in the ICU, uh, the respiratory condition worsened. And yet due to uh, his renal failure, pulmonary CT angiography was uh, contraindicated due to the iodinated contrast agent. So DDR was performed and it revealed that there is an area of focal under intensity, so area of low blood volume within the lungs. And this patient was diagnosed with a pulmonary embolism. And I should emphasize that this exam is done at the bedside without any injected contrast agent. We're just looking at changes in the x-ray attenuation over time. It's another case from St. Mariana University in Japan. Uh, this is a severe COVID patient who on day two, the second from the left panel of images, underwent prone positioning therapy. And DDR, the ventilation images of DDR show that the ventilation was improving with this prone therapy, and this correlates with measurements from the ventilator. On uh, the eighth day of the exam, the, or of this patient's course, uh, the lung, lung ventilation started to decrease again. Dr.